Hi guys, I'm Roger Rosenblatt and I'm a writer. And as you can see, my arm is in a sling from a dislocated shoulder. I promise you I did not get it riding. Riding is not a contact sport. Oh, it is a contact sport, but not in that way. It's a contact with your feelings and a contact with other people, best of all, and a contact with your fondest wishes. And those wishes can be expressed in the personal essay. I wanted, I wanted to talk to you about the personal essay. It's a form I write. I write novels and memoirs too, but the personal essay is the one that I worked at the hardest and have done the longest, and I feel very strongly that it is a wonderful form for you to express yourself. When you say essay, when I say essay to you, undoubtedly you think school requirement. Oh dear, another essay, because it's boring. It is not boring. You think of it not as a story, because you think a story is the most exciting form, and certainly it is, but an essay is a story. Just as a poem is a story of a feeling, and a novel or a short story is a story of itself, of course, so an essay is a story of a thought, or an idea, or the expression of a wish, or wonderment. Memory. The essay depends on memory, particularly the personal, personal essay. And it has a theme, just as any story does, and it has a character, just as any story does. The main character is you. And it has a plot, which is the way the essay proceeds to discover itself. It is an attempt to discover itself, to discover its subject. The word essay comes from essayé in French, meaning to try, to attempt. And that's what an essay is. And when you write it, you must give the feeling of pursuing an attempt, to wonder at something, to wonder why something means something, to wonder what an experience meant in the first place. And you may trust your reader is going to wander right along with you because there are no sure answers in the important things in life. Just good questions, good questions, well expressed, and expressed with the idea that we are all in the same boat, so we ask the same questions. First long essay I ever wrote was on my dad, my father, and my father now long gone. My father was a mass of contradictions. He was a boxer in college and a so a tough guy in one way. And in another way, he was a mass of insecurities. He suffered humiliations or things that he perceived of as humiliations. He was born Jewish on the Lower East Side of New York, abjured Judaism right from the start. He did not ever associate with the Jewish religion, and yet he never changed his name, which identified him as Jewish. All these contradictions. He could be sweet, he could be tough, he could be thoughtful, he could be callous, and I wondered about him as kids wonder about their parents. I wondered about my dad my whole life, and then I came to write this first essay on him, the first thing I really wrote, first big thing I ever published, and tried to express my wonderment at this man who had meant so much to me and whom I spent my life trying to understand, the attempt, S-A-A, to try, to try to understand. I'm going to give you a prompt. A prompt verbally sometimes is when I give you an idea or a thought that you can write something about. Sometimes it's a physical prompt. This is a physical prompt. This sneaker is a physical prompt. I have given other prompts before. I've given students flowers that they could smell and I say, go follow your nose and tell me what you remember about the fragrance of the flower or play some jazz music or a teapot. Here in this sneaker, I want you to look at it and think about it. Think about the first pair of sneakers you had. For, think about playing in a playground in sneakers. Think about sneakers that you envied that somebody else might have had. Think about the freedom that you felt walking in sneakers in the city or anywhere you did walk. I want you to write about the sneaker, but not right away. I want you to look at this object. Think about it. And then, after four or five minutes, see what comes to you. Often writing just comes to you as an image. And you remember a moment, and then you proceed to write and you will write an essay about a sneaker and you will be very surprised how much the sneaker meant to you. It will be an expression of your wonder, your wonderment, which is the greatest thing we can do as writers, wonder along with our readers. So good luck, enjoy writing about it. I know you'll do beautifully. Thanks.